lizard in the backyard. His name's Loki. You know it. Loki lizard. Okay, we have an interesting here, interesting one here. Let's look at this. So this is a seedling I planted, ooh, at least nine months ago. Let's see what's going on here. So it looks like there's multiple plants involved here, all coming out from a single root down over here. Disregard this sticker that's not a banana. So, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna practice my veneer grafts. And we are going to do, going to do a veneer graft, it looks like right here, right on the outside here. So I'm going to snip away some of the leaves, not all of them, prep the site. Okay. And today I'm using a uh, grafting knife. I do use razor blades as well, but this knife uh, was cheap and it works well, but I do really like razor blades. Um, this graft, the scion, will be more or less. And I would like to thank Truly Tropical um, for providing me this scion. Chris over there, she's great. Um, Grove is great, and she grows excellent superior fruit. Marvelous. Thank you, Chris. Now, since I'm practicing, this might not be perfect, but if we practice together, guess what? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Okay, now, so I'm going to look at the top of the mango tree and see which way it is curving. It's actually facing this way. So I'm going to look at the scion and see which way that curves. Now, if you see, if you look in the middle of the scion, you can see a bend, a slight bend, right where my thumb is, going, where is it, going up. Oh, there we are. Slight bend going up. So I'm going to face that bend outwards with the bend in the tree. So I want it to run with the bend in the tree and be flush with the tree. We basically just want to match it up as best as we can to the natural bend in the tree. See that? If I put it the other way, it would be off and, and there'd be a lot of space in it. So that's what we're trying to do here. Now, now that I know which where the bend, bend is, we're gonna we're gonna take we'll do the cut on the tree first. 
So here I want to apply a tiny amount of pressure. Let's see if I can set this up a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna have to deal with it like that. Actually, what I can do is take off this for us. I think that might help. Okay, so I'm applying the scion down here. Right here. Gives me enough room if this doesn't take to put on another scion down here. This is a side veneer graft and we are going to apply a little bit of pressure, not too much. We want to slice off the outer layer of the tree. So we really don't want to go too far into the tree with this. And actually some of it will come up on its own just like that did, if you guys can see that. Okay. Now that we have our cut, let me show it to you guys. So we have that cut there, do you see it? It's basically just peeling the outer layer off to expose the cambium tissue. I'm going to try to line up the tip of that into that by slicing it in a certain manner that way and then flipping it and doing it again to make a nice sliver of a scion to fit in there. So, we want to do one cut. Where are we here? There. Move this out of the way. So, do you see how some of the scion is brown? We want to look for the non-brown part. So, brown means the wood there is not active so we want to keep going until we don't find any of that non-active wood so it looks like it goes pretty far but this looks like it is sufficient for placement Now, this is the scion I'm going to be inserting into the cut I just showed you. Some might say it's too thick. I think that'll work. Let's try it. Remember, line up one side of the cambium. You do not have to line up both sides of the cambium, inner layer. You could just line up one side of the cambium with one side of this cambium in the tree. Now we have to cut it a little more so it sits more flush. So we have to cut off a little bit off the top so it curves in there with the tree. So you see what I did? I just cut off more off the top here so it can sit more flush with the tree. Here, I'll show you guys. Boom. Wipe, wipe my teeth off from sweating. Okay. Now, let me show you while it's in there. Can you guys check that out? There's the graft. Let me do a little bit of this. Here's the graft. And it's just a little bit of cambium touching a little bit of cambium and you just line them up so it's flush on one side so it almost feels like one tree on one side the other side of the cambium may not line up and that's okay so the other side will look like this you know what? I'll just twist it the other side is gonna look like this it's not gonna line up perfectly see how it's a little short and that's okay Now, some people would use a rubber band at this stage. Um, 
I have done that and it has worked. I will try to use grafting the buddy tape on this and then use a rubber band. So give me one second. Here's the buddy tape. Oh, let me back out of there a little. Here's the buddy tape. Pull it a little bit, a little bit so it could stick to itself and you get a good seal on there. And what I do is I leave a tab at the bottom and then I overlap it and actually come over to keep that strong seal on the bottom. So a lot of people will ask, well, it doesn't, it's always loose when I put it on. Um, and I understand that, but you have to hold the tip or um, loop the tip over to get a nice hold on the see it just fell off so that's a good example of what I'm not trying to do so let's do that again so see how I have a tab on the bottom that I'm holding and I'm actually twisting it I'm gonna with my left hand come up the back end and twist over again and and seal it so that's now sealed on the bottom and because I'm applying pressure still with this extra piece we're gonna wrap it around like so applying a tiny amount of pressure not too much pressure uh, to displace it you want to wrap it around again and always spiral upwards what I want to do here is come over and butterfly this wrap on the top so apply a little pressure and now twist it into almost a rope and put it over scion and around the top to seal the top of the graft um, this actually works very well I've been told and here it is for you guys coming from the pros Now that it's almost like a rope-like material, you're just gonna wrap it around again, and boom shakalaka. There you are. So now, when you feel the graft, it feels like one solid union. There is the buddy tape. Now, we're gonna use a rubber band if I can find it. Where did it go? There it is. The rubber band is just to ensure that the graft union is tight and strong. So we will do the rubber band. We're gonna leave one side open. So we're gonna leave a tip out and apply gentle pressure not a lot this will self adhere to itself so it's it'll it'll just get tighter as you keep pulling it you want to leave that tab out so you can tie it off and We have a Marlis grafted onto a seedling. I do want to clean the grafting knife after my grafts to 
keep it fresh and prevent fungus and or bacteria from growing on it. to see the pickering and sea crest that took about a it waited about eight days for them to take eight or nine days now they're finally finally coming out Look at these little guys where are we there's pickering a thicker rubber band on that and I didn't wrap it in a wet paper towel and that one took but it is in shade so I think the grass like the shade here is Seacrest also provided by Chris at Truly Tropical who I really thank for Scion and that is coming out here here's Seacrest this one I wrap in wet paper towel which actually dries out so I don't know if I really recommend the wet paper towel unless it's in shade and if it's in shade it might not dry out that's sea crust and that's all I have for today so uh, please like share subscribe if you guys want to see more grafting of mangoes and grafting actually of any tree um, let me know. Maybe I'll try to get my hands on it and uh, I'll graft it to you guys. Later.